My friend Bruce is a big user of CAD, computer-aided design, and he's going to show us how to actually produce a part on CAD. Specifically, what he's going to give us a lesson on is the leg on this jewelry arm wire here. Took me some evolution in the shop to come up with that design. I think it's a little simpler for him. Bruce, what do you, where are we going? What do you got? Well, I already have the, those legs, four of them, drawn on here. Now I'm going to show you how I created those legs. And what I will do is I know that they are one and a half by one and a half inch square. So that's kind of our starting parameter. And I know that the foot is half inch by a half inch square. So just for, um, for us to catch up, go ahead with that one. And I'm going to place that centered. So what okay. we're looking at is the, um, the top of the leg. This is the it's top It's as though we're here. looking at it from the top. The little square that we're seeing in the center is the foot at the bottom. And what you did to get those two rectangles is you opened a window on the computer that you entered those dimensions in. So you didn't, I mean, I didn't see a draw a line on here, but you just told the computer to make a square, right. one and a half by one and a half, and another square, right. half by half. Now, what I'm making here, this is just the tapered part of the leg. So what I'm going to do is I will take those two rectangles and I will do what's called a multiple extrude and we know that, that that part of the leg, the tapered part, is 20 inches so I've entered that as So extrusion, extrusion is the process of pushing something out through a mold, it happens in plastics all the time so it's kind of what we're doing here, you're looking at a two-dimensional square which you're now going to tell the computer turn that into a tusk by pushing that square out into 3D. Yeah, now when we look at this you can see the highlighted one is you the leg I just created. No, that's just the way the computer did it. Very easy to fix that. I'll go to front view and I just rotate it and then you can see it's the right way again. Okay, now that is just the tapered part of it. I need to add the flat part where the rails go. And yeah, because the taper doesn't actually originate at the end of the leg. It originates a little bit down from the top and there it is. And now So I'll, you stretch the leg. I just stretch the top of it up. You can see that that's nice. Now I'm going to render this and you'll see that that leg is still has no walnut color to it but that's pretty easy to change. I'll just do this and I'll give it some color. You're just picking a color off of a palette there. And I will re-render it. There it is. Cool. Now, I look at this. I'm not happy with the four-sided taper. I don't think my wife's going to be happy with the four-sided taper. So I want to do another leg. Well, let me do this first. When you need another one of these, because obviously four legs in the table, how do I get my other three legs? I'm guessing you didn't redraw them. Wow. And you could do that forever. You yeah. could make a thousand legs. They'll all be the same. Yeah. All right. Now, I want a leg that's tapered only two sides, not four sides. So we, you're going to start, you're drawing my square, move that off to the side. Are you extruding? Okay. So same process, the difference is that you s did not center the foot. I moved the, the foot over to the to edge. A corner. This is only two-sided taper. Now, can you grab these legs? So on this double-sided taper, if I want to see what that looks like from other directions, can we do that? Sure. Well, that's pretty cool. Th this is a powerful aspect of CAD that um, basically Bruce started this stuff from scratch. Now here you are in your shop, you go to the wood pile, you find the right size piece, you cut it to length, you cut the taper, you look at the taper, you cut the other taper, and what we just did in real time here in minutes would have taken me probably half an hour of um, setup and cutting in the shop. You got to set up your taper sled and get all that stuff going on. Um, so this is a great um, proponent a great way to advocate using CAD for your prototyping. Um, now what else, anything else the legs can bring us here? Well, it, infinite options. Infinite options. So I, at this stage, um, I think the leg is too short and I want to make it longer but on the foot end, not on the top. Can we stretch? So 
So you're doing just a data entry off on the side there telling it 30 inch leg, wow. So it kept my three quarter inch foot at the bottom, Absolutely. but just drew the taper out. Very cool, very cool. Well, I get it. I, I know Bruce is a big proponent of CAD instead of building these physical prototypes. And this is a great example of how you do it on your computer and, and the fluidity of making changes and why you would do it. Thanks yeah. for the, spending the time with us today.